What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode with my palace and Vice Pants. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. It's Fan Mail Friday, May the 20th. Woo Big news is Q&A 100 is this Sunday. Make sure you get your questions in because it's going to be a party. Um, you can leave them in these comments. You can go back to Q&A from last Sunday. You leave them in those comments. Uh, you comment them somewhere. I will find them. I'll write them down. I'm answer I'll answer them. Uh, we have a couple of special guests. Appearances on Q&A 100. It's gonna be fantastic uh, Tuesday, you know, I do the scores and I just throw them out there, you know alongside a baseball video. I'll be like scores um, I called it boxed. That's gonna be my my scores name of the scores show baseball scores show Boxed with my pal Alex because I'm reading box scores box scores are like if you open up the newspaper Before the internet there was this thing called a newspaper you bought it out of store I think you can still shop around and maybe find one and you flip to the sports section and in columns there would be the scores and they would be box scores. That's what they were called. Check it out. It's exciting. Um, so I'm calling it boxed with my pal Alex and if you look I colored in uh, first base yellow because most um, like when you're watching the game on TV uh, you know it's got the diamond to say where the runners are. Uh, you know and the bases are highlighted. So I highlighted my first base and I put who on first? Who knows that? Come on, that's a funny bit. Um, what else? Uh, let's uh, da, 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 Q and A box scores. Oh, um, I was watching Trainwreck last night with Amy Schumer and John Cena, and um, it was really funny. I remember seeing it in the movie theater. You know, I may link uh, that. I think it was either fan mail or Q and A. I'll link whatever it is. I'll link it. I think it was a Q and A the weekend that came out. I did and I mentioned it. It was really funny. It's not about John Cena. It's not about wrestling. It's about relationships. Watch it. You may learn something. Now, who's excited for X Men next weekend? It comes out next weekend. I'm going to see it. Um, I have not been a fan of Brian Singer and his X Men tragedies. However, starting with the first class and then uh, what the hell was the second one they did? Um, uh, you know, where they traveled in time. Not bad, because number one, the worst thing I can think of is time travel. I remember going to see the new Star Trek, um, the reboot, the first one, and I'm, I, I remember sitting down and I said to my brother, I said, I swear to God, if there's time travel in this movie, I'm walking out. What is it open with? Time travel. So anyway, um, <laughs> I swear to God, I said it, you can ask him. Um, so X-Men comes out Age of Apocalypse next weekend. I'm pretty excited to see it. Um, and who saw Emma got hurt this week? She hurt her back. She had surgery Wednesday. Oh, like they need one more injury. Um, all right, let's get to the comments already. Jesus, sweet tiny baby Jesus. Uh, yeah, the De La Fuente uh, says, I got Skywarp today and they are so cool. He was on, he commented on my family dollar hunt. I was looking for the new, uh, Legion class figures. Uh, it was a recolor of Starscream. Came out of Skywarp. Uh, they recolored Bumblebee. Came out as Cliff, Cliff Jumper. I'll, I'll link my hunt. It's pretty cool. Um, Skywarp was pretty badass. Uh, great haul there, buddy. Uh, Lucas wants to know if I like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, back on 512, he asked. Um, I I so much don't care about anything. Feisty Pants is into Pokemon, and I asked him. I said, "My boy, what's Yu-Gi-Oh all about?" And he says, "No, Daddy." And I said, "All right." So it's just just Pokemon. Uh, I was never into Yu-Gi-Oh when I was growing up, and uh, not into it now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure it's cool. It's just you know, one one uh, one life savings draining hobby at a time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, PC Principal over on Twitter says you're funny as hell. Thank you, Mr. Principal. I'd like to be sent to the principal's office to tell me I'm funny as hell. That'd be awesome. Derek Matrix, him and I were chatting on Amino the other day. He said he saw me on Grimm's Toy Show once and uh, checked out my channel, and he's instantly attached. He says I'm um, I'm a genius. <laughs> my vids are fantastic. Thank you. He's a he's a backyard wrestler, and he actually has a GM. Um, Alan Kendricks is his GM. I didn't know backyard wrestlers had GMs. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know people. Well, I'm sure people still do backyard wrestling. I mean, look at Grimm. Um, pretty cool. But we talked for a while. It was pretty awesome. Thank you, Derek. Um, I did a uh, regular action figure review of Fracture. I'll link it for you. Rob Foyke Jr. says, Fracture says, get out of my way, Autobots, or I will blow you up with my huge blaster penis. <laughs> he didn't say penis, but it's what it is. It's like, this is my penis. And all right. 
too much fun with the action figures. Um, he says, great video, Alex, of Icy Bands. And D-Man says, I like that one a lot, thank you. And Stan says, he doesn't really like Transformers, but this one he wants because I made it good. Keep it going, mate. Thank you, Stan. Um, let's see. Uh, last week's fan mail uh, was a two-parter. I had talked about... Um, Jupiter and it's 60, 67 moons or however many moons it had and, and it's got a giant werewolf problem which I had mentioned weeks ago that nobody picked up on <laughs> I did I swear to god I did um, I think I even did a thumbnail of Jupiter I'm not sure uh, JCI says cool video Alex let's go Yankees eat it yeah Stout says uh, cha cha oh yeah because of the Friday the 13th music um, I labeled it Friday the 13th uh, D-Man says, thanks for the educational video. Stay off Jupiter. <laughs> you can't go there. You need to go there with silver bullets. That's what that's what you need. That is what you need. Uh, Rob Forky Jr. says, up, up, down, down is a great channel. Uh, I wouldn't know. I don't care. I mean, I'm sure he's he's good. I mean, I like him in the ring. He's entertaining. He looks like he would be a funny person. Xavier Woods, I'm talking about. He looks like he would be a funny person, like, in, in real life alongside the ring. Because you got to have that charismatic... Jesus, there's like trucks driving by. You gotta have that charismatic nature uh, to carry yourself that far. So excellent. I, I might check it out. Maybe. Uh, the second half of fan mail was uh, was called roasted. I had a nice turkey roast dinner. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> I just, I, I'm sorry, I'm laughing at myself. Uh, D-Man says, very funny, see, very funny video, it is funny, go check it out. Saintly Sink says, uh, what's up, and I, I say, what's up to you, and Jay Potter wanted to know if I had a PS4, uh, because he wanted to play 2K16, but I don't have a PS4, we have an Xbox 360, we don't even have 2K16 for the 360, it's just, uh, Jesus freaking Murphy! Jay wanted to know if we had a PS4, and if we had 2K16, to, uh, to play 2K16 on the PS4, but I do not have either. I have an Xbox 360, me and Feisty Pants do our Minecraft on it. Um, we actually just got Transformers Devastation. Uh, I can't wait to rip it open this weekend. I think we're going to do it and move on to some uh, some videos there. Uh, he says, I love your vids. I saw a Yankees poster in one of your vids. He's also a Yankee fan. He went to the, with his father to the old stadium and with his brother to the new stadium. That's pretty awesome. The old stadium, I mean, is like memories, but the new stadium is like a friggin' palace, dude. I, I, I've gone like numerous times, and uh, it's, it's just great. I, I still have yet to see the entire stadium. It's just, it's just that awesome. Um, I was out shopping with Grim the other day. Uh, he did a bunch of toy hunts and you know made some funny gigs. And then I said, well, what about Home Goods? I think they have like a, like a clearance action figure section. And we went to go check it out, and it was hilarious. I'll link you the I'll link you the haul there. Um, turns out they did not have action figures. <laughs> but D-Man says uh, around here we say we're on a mission. I've actually heard that before, believe it or not. Uh, Acer WWE Gamer says this was basically a grim video. No, no, it was not. It was a my pal Alex video. I used to do ho toy hunts all the time back in the day. They got boring, so I stopped doing them. You guys are the ones that are just like sucked into toy hunts. I don't, I don't give a rat's ass. I'd rather show something entertaining than the same nasty toys that are on the shelf every week after week after week after week after week. We don't, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion, we don't get enough good stuff out here in my area. I, I buy a lot of stuff online. I get a lot of stuff through fan mail. You know, I could show you the same bare shelves and the same 20 fi um, Bray Wyatt action figures hanging in the wrestling aisle at Toys R Us week after week. If that's really what you want to see, Acer... Hey, WWE Gamer. <laughs> but it's boring, so I don't do it. Nathan Mester says, how you doing? I said, uh, I'm doing all right. How you doing? Sam Appendler says, uh, guy in a globe match. It has to happen. It wasn't that big, dude. <laughs> We'd cram ourselves in there and be like, now what? <laughs> Dontrell TV says, Alex is cool. Thank you, Dontrell. Nathan Sanabria says, hey, what's up? And Luxter says, you are the funniest person when you're with Grimm. Not saying you're not funny without Grimm. I know what you meant, dude. I was totally ripping you. I had said in the comments, I said, well, you kind of did say it. <laughs> but I knew what you meant. Stand by for part two.